are you doing in there? You don't belong in there, Big Mac. This has been a uh, reoccurring issue that I've been having with Big Mac. Uh, not respecting the fence, the electric fence. Now we use poly rope. Um, it's something that my mom gave us. It's not, um, wire would be better, but we just haven't been able to do that. But he keeps getting out, so we had to bite the bullet and go and buy some wire. So I've got to rerun the entire fencing all around. Go on, get back in there, you turd. See, he just does not even care. We got the chicken tractor moved, got the fence moved over, which is exciting because now that we got the fence moved over, that means we got the new garden plot exposed and ready for mulching. So I've got to finish mulching that and then we get to start planting soon. You guys know our two goats, Maple and Brownie. Well, we were gifted a fainting goat. She doesn't yet have a name. Um, but she doesn't know her name. Uh, the little girl who had her uh, had kind of called her Bubbles, but she doesn't really know her name. So we're gonna, I just don't feel like she looks like a bubble. So we are trying to come up with a name for our new pretty goat. So let me go ahead and show her to you. And I would love to hear your guys' um, input or any ideas for um, a name for her. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. She is so pretty. Um, I don't know what would be the correct name for her coloring. She's, <laughs> I've never seen them do this. <laughs> All right, Leon, don't chase, don't chase him. Hi, sweetheart. She's very sweet. She's still a little nervous. It's okay, sweetheart. Good girl. Hi, pretty girl. So this is her um, with her fancy collar that my mom <laughs> she, my mom gave her, gave me this collar. Leon, you might but, be able to set but leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, give us some ideas for names now. Um, with the goats, we kind of have a running thing with a, a food theme. Um, we've got maple, brownie. Um, we were kind of thinking maybe biscuit, but she's gray. Huh? Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> biscuits and gravy. Yeah, maybe, yeah maybe, maybe we'll name her biscuits and gravy and that'll be her, her registered name is biscuits and gravy. <laughs> well, and I'd like you guys to meet Cameron. Hi. She is... She's going to be a good friend of ours. She's from Leon's 4-H club. She's kind of become his mentor. She's helping him train Lexi up. And she's got a really great working knowledge of dairy cows, rabbits. Um, you're starting to learn about steers. This is your first year showing steers. <laughs> um, any, any other animals that you kind of... Chicken. Chickens. That's an iffy one too. That's an iffy one. So really it's primarily dairy cows yeah. and rabbits. And she has kind of taken Leon under her wing and she is teaching him the ropes. <laughs> what's wrong pretty girl do we got your baby is that what's going on yeah I know they're working with that yeah, she's okay they're just working with her so right now they are they are starting lesson number two with Lexi We got majority of the fence replaced with wire. We still have the section that goes around the uh, orchard. We gotta get that run, and then we got the dividing. Oh, Leon just turned the fence on so I can test it. It was only registering at a thousand the last time. So let's see. 
Still only registering yet. Oh. I have my inside voice. Hold on. Something's. It's like it was grounding out for a second, but then it hit like really, really hard all of a sudden. Hmm. It like hit. It jumped up to four thousand at once for one second, and then it's oh died down. What? I don't think it needs to be that hot. <laughs> no, that's that's hot enough to keep a bowl out. Which with Axel, we do want it that hot. So. Okay, so let's walk the fence and check it. Make sure it's not grounding out anywhere. Let me see if I have one other theory. So, we did a walk around. Brutus has gotten out, or not Brutus, um, Big Mac has gotten out twice again. Um, it's still not, it's it's hitting strong. The only problem is our, so our uh, fence tester, it's not a digital one. So it reads, it hits a light that it's 600 to 1,000 and 1,000 to 2,000 and 2,500 to so, so and so. So it doesn't tell us exactly what it is. But. Hold on, hold on, we'll see. So, um, they collected eggs and they're like, they're fertile, they're fertile. Which I don't think that they can be seen as fertile that early. But we got majority of the wire. Okay. We got majority of the electric wire ran, and um, I will finish running the rest of it, and hopefully it will register hotter. If not, I think we're going to have to bite the bullet and just get a new energizer.